The man who was prized by the former legends, who was called the next Javi, he's gone. Let's discuss it. Arthur was called the next Javi and he was also a fan favorite at the Camp Nou. But out of nowhere, rumors became reality and uh, Arthur was uh, swapped with uh, Juventus midfielder Miralem Pjanic. So, so after having the medical with the Juventus, now it's official and Arthur is gone. But what's next? Right now, for so many reasons, Barca's midfield is criticized by their fans that they're not having a midfielder of that quality as that of uh, Iniesta or uh, Javi Hernandez. So as I already mentioned that uh, Arthur was called the next Javi. I think that's a crazy decision to sell a player of his abilities. Barca paid 31 million euros to Brazilian side Grêmio two years ago and uh, there was a six year contract. Yeah, six year contract. For years, they're making crazy decisions. They signed players like uh, Usman Dembele and uh, Felipe Coutinho from Liverpool and Antoine Griezmann from Atletico Madrid. And all of them were signed like uh, for more than 100 million. They're not performing on the same level as compared to their former teams. So Arthur is gone. Juventus is already having so much depth in their squad. No doubt their midfield is quite amazing. They do have uh, Adrian Rabiot who came from PSG last season and uh, Matuidi. They have Khedira, uh, Aaron Ramsey. But I think the advantage for Arthur is that he is still 24 years young as compared to Ramsey who is 29. Khedira and Matuidi both are 33 33 respectively but the problem is that uh, when your when your team is having so many individual performers then life becomes a bit difficult you can ask uh, James Rodriguez he is still struggling to get to get his chance at Real Madrid so sometimes injuries sometimes managers their decisions crazy tactics you don't know what's coming next now let's discuss how Juventus can line up with Arthur. This is a 4-4-1-1 formation. If Cristiano Ronaldo is going as a center forward, then for sure Federico Bernardeschi or Juan Cuadrado, one of them is going to go as a left winger. Cuadrado is irreplaceable at Juventus. If he's not going to play as a left winger or right winger, he is definitely he is playing as a right back as well. For more, for most of the games, we have watched that uh, he played as a right back. So Arthur can team up with either Matuidi, as we know that Pjanic is gone. So either it's Matuidi or Ramsey or Khedira. And Adrian Rabiot is also a fair option. So this is a formation that suits Juventus up to somehow. We've got an uh, another formation which is 3-4-2-1 and uh, personally I think this is a formation that can kill defenses because although their gameplay is quite slow but let's suppose if they go with this formation with Delet, Giolini and Leonardo Bonucci at the back Arthur and Dybala in the mid, Quadrado and Costa both on the right side of the wing and Alexandro and Ronaldo both on the left side of the wing. Higuain, I don't know whether he's going to be a starter from the next season or not because Juventus is already monitoring the situation of Gabriel Jesus at Manchester City and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang at uh, Arsenal. I personally think Aubameyang is, is, is an ideal option for Juventus he is an amazing number 9 because it's not just about scoring goals. Ronaldo can score goals, Dybala can score goals. Sometimes you just need to fill that number 9 position as Benzema is doing at Real Madrid. 
But there is just a little problem with this formation because Dybala cannot support Arthur as a defensive midfielder. For sure, Federico Bernardeschi, he can play as a substitute and on that position, Cristiano Ronaldo can come back and you can just have Dybala as a center forward. For me, Arthur with Matuidi, Arthur with Ramsey, or uh, Arthur with Khedira. It will be quite a pack. Arth Arthur is uh, such an amazing and versatile midfielder. His vision, technical ability, box-to-box -box movement is simply phenomenal. But whether he's going to get a chance at US midfield, we will find out in the September of uh, 2020. I personally think Juventus need a new manager who can really use that lightning pace of Ronaldo and Costa on both left and right side respectively and then they must give the chance to Arthur to prove his brilliance because Adrian Rabiot two or three seasons ago he was great at PSG and then a new manager came he just benched him and he was unable to prove there is so much depth in PSG squad as well but I already mentioned that when you have so much individual performers in your team then getting a chance and uh, becoming a regular it is quite a headache for for the manager so I will rate uh, Arthur's signing 7.5 out of 10 right now because sometimes consequences change when the clubs are changed by the players and football is full of those players who left certain clubs and then they were never able to reach their prime so well we know that Arthur never wanted to leave Barcelona and uh, for sure fans didn't like the transfer as uh, many of the fans were very much angry on social media Anyways, good luck to both uh, Juventus and Arthur. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about Arthur's transfer to Juventus. And uh, see you with the next video. Bye-bye.